you don't need Windows 11 because of the fear of end of support. If you have a low-end PC, if you care more about gaming performance, and you still want the support to stay a bit longer, then I would recommend you to install Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC. You can still get the support until 2027, and for the IoT version, you'll get the support until 2032. The best thing about this version of Windows is that it does not have any sort of bloatware or any unnecessary apps. So it's basically like a slimmed down version of the original Windows. Windows 10. So how do you download it? Well there are two different links. This right here is from official Microsoft website but bear in mind this will only give you the evaluation version which means your PC will shut down every hour and you won't be able to use it after like 30 to 90 days. So I would recommend you to get a different ISO file. Over here I'm gonna use this website from massgrave.dev and you can download the Windows 10 or 11 LTSC ISO. Next what you want to do is get yourself a pen drive and you know insert it. Next what you want to do is to install Rufus to create a bootable USB. So go to their website, scroll down and select the latest version. Now launch Rufus, click on the select button and select your ISO file. Wait for it to scan the image and then click start. Select OK and then click OK. Now you just have to wait for it to copy the ISO files. Alright, so once it is done, you can go ahead and close it and now you can finally install it after restarting it. Alright, sorry for the weird shaky issues, but now what you're going to do is simply go ahead and restart your PC. And then keep pressing the delete button like this until you enter the BIOS. Alright, so what are you going to do now is go to BIOS and change the boot option from this to your pen drive. And then once that's done, go ahead and save and exit setup. Now you can install exactly the same way as you would install Windows 10 and 11. You can check out my video on that and then just click on next, install now. If you have a product key, you can use it but I don't, so I'm gonna select this one. Then there will be two versions. You have to select the first one and then click on next. Accept the license terms. I'm gonna clean install, so I'm gonna select this one. And you can select your C drive, which mine is over here. You can format it if you want to. Uh, but for me, I'm just going to click on this, format. So this will format my C drive or clear everything. And why not merge this thing and, you know, delete these and create new ones, right? So, why not? So, let's just delete this, delete this one too. So, I have this C drive here, or my SSD, completely unallocated. So, I'm just going to click on New, and Apply, and OK. It's going to create some files here. Alright, now I'm just going to select this bad boy right here, and just click on Next. Now you need to wait for it to install the files. It's done, so it is going to restart and continue the installation process, so no need to worry. Alright, this is very simple and, you know, based on your preference, so I'm gonna select this one. Let's set it up the usual way as you would. Next one, yes. And now I'm just gonna skip that. Sit back and relax while we work our magic. Yeah! Let's go. Please don't turn off your device. Yeah, let's go. Okay, we got through this part of setup. Yeah, let's go. All right, now what you want to do is click on domain join instead of signing up. So you can just write your name. All right, so I wrote my name. It's my gaming channel, by the way. You can go ahead and subscribe. Click on next. Create a super memorable password. I'm just going to skip that and select next. So it's not going to use any password. I'm just gonna disable all of these. Alright, so that is how you install Windows 10 LTSC Enterprise. So if you did enjoy it, leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more.